It's 2.46 and Prince Harry and Prince William will address a memorial for their late mother, Princess Diana, tonight. But the brothers won't be appearing at the same time. Curious. The Prince of Wales is set to give a speech in person, whilst Prince Harry will make a virtual appearance by video call after his brother has left the event, giving signs that the royal rift rumbles on. Well, for more on this, shall we bring in our royal correspondent Cameron Walker, who has the latest for us. Cameron, is this deliberate, that they don't want to be involved in the same event at the same time? Uh, what's going on? Well, of course, we'd never get confirmation, Emily, but I think anyone giving an ed educated guess would draw that conclusion. So what we know is that it is the 25th anniversary of the Diana Legacy Awards. It was set up with Princess Diana's belief that young people have the power to change the world for the better, which, of course, is kind of a cause close to Prince William and Harry's heart, and Princess Diana's legacy clearly rubs off on both of them. However, despite the fact it's the 25th anniversary, Prince William will be there in person this evening at the Science Museum for the award ceremony. He will give a speech and he will be presenting the awards to the winners. But it won't be until after William's left that Prince Harry will appear virtually via video call uh, to A, meet the winners virtually and perhaps will give a speech as well, although that's not been confirmed. But what it does is highlight the clearly continued rift between the two brothers that they're not... It appears, I'm not saying this is true, but it appears that they are unwilling to be joining the same events at the same time. And yet, Karen, there'll be those that say uh, Prince Harry is thousands of miles away. He's in the United States of America. Might we not expect them to sort of one appear by video link and one appear in person? Is this all a mountain being made out of a molehill? Well, it's not the fact that one's appearing via video link and one's appearing in person. It's the fact that it's happening at completely separate times. I think it's pretty easy for Prince William to stand on the stage and Prince Harry to appear on the screen behind him at the same time logistically. Uh, but in terms of the relationships, it appears because we haven't, ha because according to lots of reports, that's not going to happen. And Prince Harry's only taking part after Prince William has left, or at least in a private room. So it is highlighting that rift, as I say. But what it also does is show the determination of Prince William and Harry, despite the perhaps personal rift between them, that they want to honour the legacy of their mother by taking part uh, in this award ceremony, something they have done many years uh, in the past. 2017, I think they were uh, pictured together on the stage giving out the awards to those young people, those recipients. Uh, but clearly it's not happened since then. But I think they're both determined to honour their mother's legacy. Well, let's be frank. It suggests that they re the two brothers very much don't want to have anything to do with each other, really. Well, you've got to look at what's happened over the last few years. First, we had Megxit, the Sandringham Summit, in Prince Harry's memoir Spare and in subsequent interviews for it. He alleges that Prince William was shouting and screaming at him in Sandringham during that summit, something Kensington Palace has never talked about. Uh, then we have the whole book and everything else, all the other allegations in the book, and, of course, the Netflix documentary as well. And the royal family are incredibly private, but Harry and Meghan have become a bit of a headache, or at least over the last three years they have been. And that would have really uh, deeply hurt William as, as someone who will be king one day. And we haven't really seen any sign of any contacts between the brothers, even when Harry flew back across the Atlantic last minute following the king's cancer diagnosis. William and him did not meet up. Now, we were told uh, by uh, someone in Kensington Palace, a source in Kensington Palace, that there were no plans to meet up. But clearly you think if your brother's flying across the Atlantic, perhaps you would make that um, happen. And it clearly hasn't happened. We don't, we're never going to be given the exact reason why. But as I said, I think you can make a pretty educated guess. Yes, it's sad that they can't even get together for such an occasion as this for uh, their late mother. mother. Um, but thank you very much. Cameron Walker, our Royal Correspondent, good to speak to you. Shall we finish up with a few views on everything that's been going on during...